disfruta mucho con uh, poder llevar a cabo todas estas coordinated resource management plans en la planificación de estos ranchos aquí en estas áreas. Steven. Thank you. Uh, buenos días, again. And uh, Marilyn actually said a lot of what I planned on saying, so let me take you back in time to when all of what you can see here was originally part of Mexico. And after the Gadsden purchase, it became part of the public domain administered by the United States government. So it was a Congress of the United States that actually designated, according to the needs of the country at that time, what land should go to what purpose. The Bureau of Land Management and the Forest Service administered the public lands that were retained according to the laws of Congress for the uses of all the members of the populace of the United States. Congress also reserved some lands from the public domain and granted them to states when they became states. And that's how we received the state trust lands that I administered through the Arizona State Land Department. And then, of course, there were laws passed by Congress to allow private individuals to homestead, the Stop Raising Homestead Act. There are various laws that allowed individuals to take lands from the public domain and actually convert those to private lands. So as Marilyn pointed out, with landlords from the Bureau of Land Management, United States Forest Service, Arizona State Land Department, the private landowners that are working on their own private land, and a new addition as recently Pima County that also bought some private lands within the ranch boundary. Uh, that's a lot of different entities that are trying to do what they need to do under their own legislative mandates and their regulations. So who has to make sense of that is the rancher, the landowner, who's trying to run a business. So as Marilyn pointed out, the best of all worlds is to have all those entities cooperate and work on a single goal of management for the benefit of the landscape. And we were able to do that recently through the coordinated resource management planning process here on the Sands Ranch. And I know Art Mean will provide some more details about how that happened. So that's my input to you, is just to describe how these lands became the way they did and emphasize the need that we all need to work together to make management happen on the ground.